everyone. Our worship time、uh, is very important because this is the time that you and I can have true victory. Now, I know you guys are little and you don't really know much of the hardships of this world, although you guys have hardships in your families at school, of course, but as you get older and as this world gets a little bit darker, There's going to be a lot of times where we can be tricked by Satan because of what people say to us, what people do to us. And so those people don't have worship, but we do. Now, the reason why we give our worship and what we experience in our worship time is victory and true power because in the Bible, God says when we give worship, God will be with us, He'll bring His kingdom upon us. And that allows us the power to overcome Satan. That, that's what makes us different from people in this world who don't know how to give worship. That's why all of our children here, Sejuni, Tejuni Jr., you must have victory in your worship first. When worship becomes everything for you, then you can really be the remnant who can save everybody your parents, Your families, your schools, your teachers, your friends, everybody, the whole world. Now, everybody, how important is worship? David knew how important worship was. And this is the last thing I know I said last week, I'll say the last thing about David, but today is really the last thing because I realized there's one thing I was missing to tell you guys about David. How much did David believe in worship? He thought it was so important. His greatest mission in life. Was to build God's temple. That was what he desired to do the most. There was something called the Ark of the Covenant, everybody. The Ark of the Covenant was this big box where they put important articles that God gave the people so they could remember, all、oh, right, God is with us. And they put the Ark of the Covenant in a tent. And guess where David lived? He lived in a beautiful, magnificent palace. Now, everybody, do we care about what the church looks like? Do we care if the church's bathroom is smelly? Do we care if the church's doors are broken or if it's not clean? Not really, right? But do we care if, well, maybe not you kids, but do we care if our rooms are dirty, our house is broken, if our toilets are smelly and stinky, there's poop everywhere? We care, yeah. We'd be like, oh my gosh, ew. We want it to be clean. We want it to look nice. But how come we don't care about the church, what the church looks like? David, he was such a man of God. He said, I cannot sleep because God's Ark of the Covenant is in a tent and I'm in a palace. And he said, We have to build the temple of God. For David, that was very important. So, from that point on till the day he died, he did everything in his power to prepare the construction of God's temple. And the last thing he left behind for his son Solomon, who became king after him, he said, You will build this temple. And that's all David cared about. He's like, You have to build this temple of God. Because that's where God will establish his presence with us. That's where all of God's people will remember what God has done for us and the promise that God will keep to bring the Messiah. So that's all David cared about. He dedicated his life to building the temple of God. That's the last thing I want to tell you all. And so this is important for us because you and I, all of our children and all of our adults, we must also. Do the temple construction. Do you know what we call that in this church? We call that holy masons. So you can think of yourself, you say, I'm a holy mason of God. That means I'm a builder of God's church. I'm a holy mason. So when you guys pray tonight or when you guys pray this week, just pray to God God, I want to be the remnant who's a holy mason. What are you going to pray, guys? What are you going to pray? I'm the holy mason. Of God. Okay, say that. Just take two. How, how many seconds does that take? Two seconds? I'm a holy mason of God. Just pray that. And God will use you. Then God will use you to restore his church and his temple. And all nations and all peoples will be saved. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Let's pray.
Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us your promise and your covenant. We believe that we are the holy masons who will restore the temple of God in ourselves, in our bodies, our minds, and our spirits, and also upon this earth so that all people can receive healing, all people can give worship, and praise your holy name. May God receive all the glory, and in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Okay, everybody, let's give the Lord's Prayer together, okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us, Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, thank